Okay, so we're going to look at an example of making a tree diagram and then answering some questions using the information in the tree diagram. So we've got this scenario here where uh, of all the people that spend time in the woods, apparently 4% of them sometime in their life will get Lyme disease. And then we have a medical test for Lyme disease, and we're given the chances that the test will produce the correct result, meaning that if you're actually sick, uh, apparently 97% of the time, the test will return a positive result saying that you're sick. Um, and if you're healthy, 92% of the time, the test will return a negative result saying that you are indeed, indeed healthy. So let's look uh, at kind of making a diagram to convey all this information. So I would start by making a sort of a split here. So I would have these 4% of people, 0.04, they have Lyme disease. And that means that 96% of the people that are spending time in the woods, they do not have Lyme disease. Very healthy. So a couple things to notice that if, when they, each split happens on the tree here, that the, the probabilities that I put on the branches have to add up to 100% as I go along here. Okay, so now these people that have Lyme disease, we're going to give them the test. So some people will test positive, meaning that the test correctly says that they're sick with Lyme disease. But some of those people might test negative. That, that would be a false negative. That's when the person is sick, they have the Lyme disease, but the test is saying that they're healthy. It returns a negative result saying that they're healthy, but the person really isn't healthy. So that's sort of the bad the thing we want to avoid. So the problem is telling us that if the person has Lyme disease, uh, the test will be correct 97% of the time. It'll give us a positive reading. So that means 3% of the time we're going to get that false negative if the person is does indeed have Lyme disease. Notice again the probabilities along the branches there add up to, add up to 1. I'm going to go down here to the no Lyme disease, split those people up into test positive and test negative. Okay, so 92% of the time, if the person does not have Lyme disease, then they're going to test negative, meaning that the test correctly identifies them as healthy. So it'll be 92% of the time, the test correctly identifies them as being healthy. But 8% of the time, we're going to get a false positive, meaning that the person really is healthy, but the test is identifying them as sick, that they have Lyme disease. So now... I need to fill in the probabilities, the four probabilities at the end of the tree. So notice that those probabilities correspond to the first one at the top of the tree, that's having Lyme disease and testing positive. The next will be having Lyme disease and testing negative, and so on and so on. Now I'm going to fill in those probabilities by multiplying down the branches of my tree. So it's going to be 0 0.04 times 0 0.97 to give me 0 0.0388. So that means about 3.88% of the people have Lyme disease <coughs> and a test positive for the disease. I'm going to do the 0 0.04 times 0 0.03 to give me the 0 0.0012. 0 0.96 times 0 0.08 to give me 0 0.0768. And 0 0.96 times 0 0.92 to give me the 0 0.8832. So... The last thing to check is that those four probabilities at the end of the tree, those four probabilities should add up to 100. Or in this case, I'm doing this as uh, the percentages as decimals here, so they should add up to 1. And if I go ahead and check that, they do. The 0 0.0388 plus 0 0.0012 plus 0 0.0768 plus 0 0.8832, that all adds up to 1. Great, so now any question that I could possibly be asked about this scenario in terms of probabilities I can answer by using the tree. So let's 
scroll down and see uh, what sort of questions we have. I don't know why the tree just jumped there, but scroll down here. So now we want to find out the probability that a person gets a positive reading. So I want to find out the probability that they test positive. So I'm looking for all the people on the tree that tested positive. So that would be the people that had Lyme disease and tested positive, plus the people who did not have Lyme disease and tested positive. So that would be that point zero three eight eight plus the point zero seven six eight. which would be 0.1156. So that's 11.56% of the people test positive. Okay, what about uh, if a person gets a positive reading, he does not have Lyme disease. So that's the probability that the person tests positive just correct that really quick here. Oh, it's not letting me erase that, which is quite unfortunate. So I'm just going to go ahead and cross that out. So that's the probability. I'm given that the person tested positive. And I want to know what are the chances that they have Lyme disease. So that means now I'm only looking at out of the people that tested positive. So I've already figured out that there's a 0.1156, that's the probability of testing positive. So that's going to be my denominator here. Because I'm only looking at the people that tested positive because I know that the person tested positive. This is a conditional probability. And the fact that the person tested positive, that's what I know going into the problem. So I want to know out of those people how many had Lyme disease. So that would be the people that had Lyme disease and tested positive, which is the point oh three eight eight, And that would be 0.3356. Okay, now what about if we know that the person tested negative that they have Lyme disease. So that's the probability that we know that the person tested negative. What's the probability that they have Lyme? If we know that they tested negative. So now if I know that they tested negative, I'm only looking at the people that ended up testing negative, which would be that 0.8832 and those people right there, the 0 0.0012. So that's going to make up my denominator. Now the numerator is going to be just the people that have Lyme disease and tested negative. It's the point 0.0012. Make sure when you type this in, get some parentheses going on in the denominator there. So that is point oh oh one four, And then the last question, sometimes the questions are so easy that they seem like they're trick questions. The probability that a person spending time in the woods that they have Lyme disease, that's just point oh four. That was a given number in the problem. So sometimes the answers turn out to be just numbers that were given in the problem. That was one of the, that was the first branch of the tree that 4% of the people have Lyme disease.